This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. Hi, I'm Helene Woods, and this is Let's Quilt, episode number 14. To start today, I'd like to share with you a picture of a wall hanging that uh, one of our viewers has sent us. Uh, it's navy blue here, and she used a gray fabric with a white flower, powder blue, and some navy fabric there. Now this was done by Ginger in Oregon, and she tells us this is the first quilt that she's ever made, and I think she's done a very nice job. Now don't forget, if you have photos of your wall hangings or your table runners, please uh, email them to us, to us so we can share them with everybody. For our next project, I'm going to have you try making some placemats. Now these have been designed by a lady, Jean Dunn, and she has her product in the quilt stores and it's called Table Graces. I made mine for the holidays, but actually you could make them at any time for gifts or uh, just for yourself. So let me show you what I've done with mine. With this place map, you only need two fabrics. You have your focus fabric here in the center and your accent fabrics on the outside. And then depending upon what you want to put on the back, you just get a little bit more yardage for that. I've also, I'm going to show you how to make napkins. Now with my napkins, I've made them two-sided. So I've taken two pieces of fabric and put them together. You can make it with just one color if you like, whatever, but I think it looks kind of pretty uh, on the table if you have a nice place mat here and a real pretty napkin. The napkins are not hard to make either, and I think it would be, it just makes the place mats stand out. Now to show you another uh, way you can make the place mats, this would be just for everyday use, say. And there again, I, you have your focus and your accent. But with this, I put a little bit of red in, and then I use the polka dots on the back. There again, I've used the two colors on the napkins, because as I say, I think it adds a nice dimension to your place settings. All right, now let's talk about the yardage that you're going to have to be getting for your place mats. I had to, and this is for two place mats. We have to have a half a yard of the focus fabric, and this is the green here, all this green here. This is our focus fabric. You'll need a half a yard for that. Next, we get a quarter of a yard for your accent, and those are the poinsettias here on the side. Now, to go in between this to make it so we can actually quilt it, I purchased Thermalon. And this is very nice. If you put this, your placemat on a bare wood table, then the thermalon would make sure that the hot plate wouldn't make any ring on your wood table. So the thermalon, and you will need a half a yard for that. If you don't want to use a thermalon, you can use just plain muslin, just a fabric. If you decide to use the muslin, you're going to find that you're not going to get much poof in your quilt. And if you're going to do stitching in the ditch and everything, it's nice to have it a little cushy. So that's why I'm going to suggest you use the Thermalon. It washes up very, very nicely, and it gives, you, uh, it gives your placemat a quilted look. Then we'll go on and decide what we're going to use for our backing. Now, in this case, I use the poinsettias, and you're going to need a half a yard for that. To going on to our napkins, there again, it's a decision to make if you're going to make them two-sided or one-sided. You're going to need one yard of fabric, no matter what. 
If you're going to use it two-sided, then you just need one half yard of each color. On our next episode, we're going to be cutting our fabric and labeling it. So, until next time.